The diplomatic spat between Brazil and Israel has continued for a third straight day. And Brazil's foreign minister has now accused his Israeli counterpart of lying. And this comes after Brazilian President Lula da Silva compared Israel's war on Gaza to Hitler's treatment of Jews. Israel in response said that Lula is not welcome in the country until he takes back the comment. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that he had crossed a red line. And Foreign Minister of Israel, Katz, called it a serious anti-Semitic attack. His Brazilian counterpart has now hit back saying that Tel Aviv's statements are unacceptable in their nature and lying in their content. He also said, while addressing a head of state from a friendly country in this way is unusual and revolting. Well, Brazil has asserted that it does not intend to retract the president's comments. Even as the row escalates, Rio de Janeiro is set to host a G20 foreign ministers meeting. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has arrived in Brazil and is expected to meet the Brazilian president before he heads to the G20 gathering. Now, even though U.S. has vetoed another U.N. resolution calling for a ceasefire in Gaza, senior U.S. lawmakers who held talks with Israeli leaders have said that they are hopeful of a humanitarian pause in the war before Ramadan. But Israel has warned that unless Hamas frees all hostages, its offensive will continue even during the Muslim holy month. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization has completed a second evacuation mission from Gaza's Nasser Hospital. The UN agency said that efforts are still continuing to transfer the remaining patients, but the site has no electricity or running water. Now, West Asia tensions are far from limited to Gaza. Tensions in the Red Sea continue to escalate. The US military has said that the Houthis fired two anti-ship ballistic missiles at a US-owned bulk carrier. The Greek-flagged but US-owned cargo vessel has arrived in the southern Yemeni port of Aden after the attack. Shipping risks have escalated due to repeated drone and missile strikes in the Red Sea by the Iran-backed Houthis since November. Now, US and UK forces have responded with several strikes but have so far failed to halt the attacks.